And since I was a young boy, I thought I played them all. So how down to Brighton, thought I'd play them all. Brighton Beach? Is that where, that's where we're going, right? Yeah. Sea slide? <laughs> Just to be clear, the reason I was saying that song is I was talking about Helen Keller. <laughs> and I imagine she'd be a pretty good pinball wizard. Oh. Being that she is. is she, was she deaf, dumb, and blind? Or was she well, just... Well, I'm not... Like, dumb is... I'm not really entirely sure about that part. Because she could, like... Oh, yeah. Sort of talk. I, I was think... just... I was literally just reading a line from the song just to, clear, just to clarify I'm not being a dick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was... I She was just, um... Deaf and blind. Right? Yeah. I think I talk to this guy because he's different. Uh, yeah. Penguin race. Hey, we got penguin race down here soon. Hey, go race. Place your bets. Sorry. He looks he looked like such a sleazy penguin. Alright, we got five on the human. But all I got on the purple penguin. You're gonna wanna put your money on red. <laughs> like, do you think they like fix the penguin races? Yeah. Like somebody goes up back and breaks one of their like fins. Oh god! Just, uh, 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 you better throw the race or we'll break the other one. Uh, I can't race because I only have one fin. Good. And looks like the odds have changed, folks. And out in front, we've got Ready Freddy. And coming up behind, we've got Mario. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> and we got the Italian Stallion, aka Rocky Balboa. What? Right? <laughs> you mean uh, uh, Sylvester Stallone's porn name? Sure. You didn't know that? He was a porn star at the Italian Stallion before he was a. Uh, um, in any, in any real movies. Really? Because yeah. I just knew Italian Stallion was the Rocky. It was Rocky's nickname. No, that was his porn name. Are you sure that's not just like a Reddit joke or some no, such? No, I'm I watched uh, for research. No, I, I, I swear it was like a documentary or something, and that was like, it may have been like on him. I don't know. Interesting. You can look it up if you want to. Look it up right now. Make sure I'm not like... Crazy. All right. Because it could be. Because I know, um, I read a story about like how he got started as an actor. Yeah. And, pretty sure um, it was in porn. No, because um, he was unemployed for a really long time, and he actually hit such a low, he um, broke down record. Sold his dog. Oh wow! Yeah, he sold his dog, um, and he was like really depressed. But then he got the idea for Rocky, and he wrote that script, and he went I to um, that movie. yeah. Um, so he he wrote it, and then he tried to sell it, and they're like, "All right, we'll buy it from you, but then like you can't act in it, none of this stuff." And he was like. And they're like, we'll give you like seven hundred thousand dollars or some such, some number. Yeah. He's like, no, I want to act in it. They're like, all right. Um, then in that case, I can't. Like, then he was like, okay. Then we'll give you like two hundred. They they increase the money. They're like, we'll give you like a million. You still can't act in it. He's like, no, I want to act in it. Like, all right, we'll <laughs> give you a hundred thousand. You can act in it. So they gave him a lot less. Yeah. Him. Yeah. That's funny. And then um, it was like this huge breakout hit and it like made his career. Right. And um, the first thing he did was buy his dog back. Oh, that's With awesome. With all his money, yeah. It's it's such a heartwarming story because like I, I, I like admire the hell out of Sylvester because it was just like he was stubborn as hell, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, let's see here. I don't know like what to search for this. Uh, I don't know either. Wikipedia? <laughs> Maybe I don't know if they would. I guess they would. If it was true, they would have it on there. I mean, you know, people could also falsify shit. That's true, but they're usually pretty good about like fixing it if stuff like that comes up there. Especially with something like as big as Sylvester's one. Yeah. Anyway, let's see. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. It's possible. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna race with Cosmic Mario. Sweet. He is space. Oh, he's the third man in history to receive uh, two nominations for the same film after Charlie Chaplin and Orson Welles. Wow. He's in. The... Wow, that's really interesting. He's in the same like boat with those two. As like Charlie Chaplin. Uh, former dancer. Oh god! Oh no! This is this race is going. Promoter terrible. of women's wrestling. Oh man, dude. <laughs> women's wrestling. His mom was a promoter of women's oh, nice. wrestling. Uh, son's mother. Just a. Uh... Well, he's baptized Catholic. There's a I, I'm not seeing anything about it here. Hollywood career, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not gonna get this. Story here it is. Oh, okay, TV. no, it was a soft core pornography oh. film, The Party at Kitty and Studs. Okay. He was paid two hundred dollars for two days work. Sloan later explained that he had done the film out of desperation after being evicted from his apartment and finding himself homeless for several days. He also said that he slept three weeks in the New York City Port Authority bus station prior to seeing a casting notice for the film. Oh, wow. And the actor's words, it was either do that movie or rob someone because I was at the end, the very end of my rope. Oh, man. 
The film was released several years later as Italian Stallion in order to cash in on Stallone's newfound fame. Oh, that's where the I new title was taken from Stallone's nickname since Rocky, okay. and a line from the film. All right, all right. Aha! I'm not incredibly crazy. Fact finders. I just had my uh, my sources a little wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Came. They didn't change it to Italian sign until after Rocky Balboa. Good old Rocky. I love those films. I've never seen any. Oh my god. I, I still hold that one of the most patriotic things you can do is... Watch Rocky. Oh no! Watch, no, no, no! Watch every Rocky film on the 4th of July. Oh, uh, every, every single one. one. Even the new Rocky Balboa? I like Rocky Balboa. I mean, I haven't seen it. So like, I, know. I know some people complain. It's, it's, it's good! Yeah. Like, those films are just, like, so, like... They're so like inspiring. They are. Uh -huh. Like it's. Uh, just what's, what's the one line? It's not about. Um, it's not about how many times you get hit. It's like how hard you get hit and can stand back up or something like that. Uh huh. That's that. I probably just butchered that, but probably. Like oh god, these movies are good, man. They're inspiring <laughs> as fuck. Cool. Just I... like just like the story. Like I said, the story of Sylvester Stallone, like doing that stuff and just like, I'm like you know what? All right, man. Right on. You've earned right. your success. Yeah. You've earned your success, and it inspires me that maybe I can do it too. Maybe. Oh, Touché. yes, boss. I love this boss. Though. When it rains, it falls. It's really fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was hoping to put me up there. Nope. Um, I guess I have to... Oh, yeah, I have to get to the, the bee and then yeah. like, climb the clouds. Yeah. Cool. Just make sure you don't get one step closer to the edge. I'm about to break. I need a little room to there. One step closer to the edge. Uh, I'm break. Uh, oh yeah, so like, um, I just showed this to actually Ryan and Tyler. If you haven't seen this video, it's this guy um, doing Katy Perry's new song Dark Horse mm -hmm. in uh, different styles, like yeah. of famous bands. Like he does it like as Iron Maiden, uh, Nirvana, Red Hot Chili Peppers, and it's 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 called um, Dark Horse in Twenty Styles or mm -hmm. something like that. But oh my God, it's so good. Yeah, he uh, he doesn't like sound exactly like them, but he gets their style like down yeah. really well. He's also just got like a crazy voice. Yeah, well, it has a lot of range. Yeah. But like, <laughs> oh. see, it, that reminded me of another one, uh, which is like Let It Go from Frozen, by in like different Disney characters. Mm -hmm. And it's really clear that he's really he's better at, at some voices than the other ones. Yeah. Because like he does. Poo, Winnie the Pooh for like a really, he does poo, he does poo for a really long time. Because he's probably really because good he's at it. really good at it. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> is what? he as good as Tyler? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Tyler is a strangely amazing poo bear. <laughs> you were so lucky, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I was like, as I, as I was falling down, I could see my bee life flashing before my bee compound eyes. Sounds like the plot of a bad bee movie. You mean a bee? Uh, a bee. Uh, uh, oh god, I butchered that joke. <laughs> god damn it, Ryan! Yeah. You mean all a B movie? <laughs> For once, I was playing along oh. with your bad puns. <laughs> For once. Maybe I can get up. No, I can't get up there without a B suit. Oh, oh actually. Yeah, so wait, where was the last B suit? Hey, it's down here. Oh, okay. Um, should be like right on the corner, I think. Yeah, there Okay, well, that's. I was gonna say, it's kind of a dick move game. Yep. Can you just fly up there? Uh, no. Yeah, I can't. Okay. Uh, just, <laughs> I I accept that you know this. <laughs> you have played this game before many times. I accept your knowledge. I accept the unacceptable. See now you'd rat it. Well, uh, uh, you almost fucked up. Almost, but I didn't. Uh, well, maybe that was. <laughs> but I didn't. Idea. But a but. But a but. Yeah. The TV is always green in somebody else's leg. I don't know the word to the next part. But that is a big mistake. Just look at the world around you. Right here on the ocean floor. Such wonderful things around you. What more is you looking for? Under the sea. What is it? Under the sea. What is it? Darling, it's better down where it's wetter. Take it from me. What the fuck inspired that? I don't know. <laughs> why did we just? They're like wetter and. Like... No, I mean like oh, why I'm did we just it? start singing the majority of under? Yeah, you started it. I don't know. <laughs> I just went along with it. Okay. You know what, I, I said yes. I yes and yes. Oh yes, yeah, I love this boss. It's so much fun. Some of my favorite things about improv groups is when they actually say yes and. Oh my god. <laughs> like literally. Not ironically. Yeah, they just go yes and. What? <laughs> Did you? That's not no. 
it doesn't, it doesn't progress to scene. <laughs> That's not how improv works. Yeah. Not that I'm like, you know, the improv king or anything. I've mm -hmm. done very little. Yeah. Uh, I do it every Thursday night. Oh, it's not. The Casual Comedy Club. Shout out. <laughs> Nobody knows who it is. It's a club at Virginia Tech that I'm in. Uh, we do short form improv. It's really fun. Because it's like Who's Line style. Mm -hmm. um, I've always liked that kind of yeah, improv. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, and More. we like, we let other people who haven't done it before come up and do it. And it's usually really bad. Um, but that's okay because like they're never done it before. So do they say yes and? No, they just like don't. They don't accept the scene. They just like. Oh, uh, they the, do. They, they do no. Yeah, yeah. They break the one rule. They're like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm like, oh, come on, you got to. Like, it's part of it. Like, even if you're like, I'm all of a sudden your mom, you have to go along with it. Yeah. Poor Shane. And he's dead. We just murdered them all. <laughs> murdered them all while talking about improv. We Mario. <laughs> There were moles, and we murdered them all. That's gonna be the first Debbie Thespian's t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Not Sky Blooper in the World Tomorrow. I, I still love Sky Blooper in the World of Tomorrow. <laughs> that might be the first t If we ever actually get to the point where we can make t-shirts. Yeah. Sky Blooper in the World of Tomorrow is still one of my favorites. Definitely. It's, 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 it's one of our earlier videos, and it's stuck with me. Yeah, it was a challenge gaming for Mario Bros. 2. <laughs> Sky Blooper in the World of Tomorrow. Ooh. 40 stars, 20 more to go. Cool. We are two thirds of the way through this game. Oh my god. That's all? That's all. Same the same, it's not the same. That's all. Phil Collins. 2012. <laughs> <laughs>